Alright, I just... I can't do this. I cannot... I cannot do this. This... This blank screen in Microsoft Word. I've been staring at that for almost two months now. Ever since they announced that 13 Reasons Why Season 3 is coming out soon, I just have been wanting to explain how much I hate that show, how awful it is, how horribly put together it is, how it completely misses the point of the book, all that. And I just cannot figure a way to put it into words that hasn't already been said before. Like, the title just says 13 Reasons Why is Awful. I've written multiple paragraphs over and over again, realized that um, it's something stupid that I'm writing, and deleted it, or felt that it's repetitive, or whatever. And I just keep doing that over and over and over again. And just what else is there to say at this point? Okay, that show's been out for two and a half years. We, we've already discussed all the problems with it. Netflix knew the problems with it before they even... Uh, put it out, and they just went forward with it, okay? The book is not perfect, okay? The book is a girl kills herself, leaves tapes explaining why. And, like, admittedly, she goes through some horrible shit. It feels a tad exploitative at points, but overall, it's a good book. The message is just don't be a dick to people. Be kind, because you don't know what's going on behind the scenes of their life, okay? You you don't know what else they're going through, and if it seems little to you, it might seem huge to them. That's a solid, simple message, okay? And there's not... I mean, okay, it is. it does play into a suicidal person's fantasies a little bit, because Hannah definitely has much more sympathy from people after she kills herself, but, like, that's not the focus of the book. And overall... People feel like shit after she does it. She definitely hurt her friends and her loved ones by doing that, so it doesn't totally play into that fantasy. So, overall, it's a fairly anti-suicide thing. It's, it, it's, it's a solid message, okay? I, I don't want to sound too cheesy when I say that, but that's what it is. Then the show comes along, and it's just melodramatic teen angst, okay? And, look, that's not inherently bad, okay? I don't want to say that I just despise that genre on principle, because I don't, okay? It's not my thing, but y you can do it. It's fine. You can have your thing I that I don't like. I don't care, but the problem is that, one, you're taking something that had that message, something that was serious and dark, and combining it with melodramatic teen shit, and they just clash. They don't fit together to begin with. So, even everything else aside, the show is just not going to work on that base, foundational level. But then you have the show being so up its own ass, just so convinced that it has things to say, so convinced that it's just deep, so convinced that it's starting a conversation around mental illness, and just... It's not. It's not, okay? The show... <clears throat> okay, look. The book is just more of a fantasy for the people that are left behind after suicide, okay? Because at the end of the day, you never know why somebody kills themselves. You, you just don't, okay? Because it's not one reason or 13 reasons why they do it. It's not even a hundred. It's thousands, okay? Thousands of tiny little things that time people wouldn't... The time people slammed the door in your face when you were walking into a, a store. The time people cut you off in traffic. The time your friend didn't call you back. Like, just a bunch of little things like that that eat away at you and make you feel worse about yourself over and over and over again over the course of years. That's what does it, okay? You're never really going to know why someone does it. You're going to spend your whole life wondering. And so in that regard, the book is kind of a fantasy for those people. But then the show, it it's a revenge fantasy, okay? Like, Hannah killing herself and leaving the tapes, that that's what causes the people who wronged her to face justice, to be punished. The dude that raped her gets put on trial because of that. Because if she, if she hadn't done that, then nothing would have been done. So, it, it's like saying that Hannah's killing herself got revenge on the people who wronged her. That's not okay. That's just not. Alright? And, again, like I said, 
the show is just so convinced that it is saying something when it's just not. It's just not, okay? They have that bit uh, at the beginning of the episodes. I don't know if they still do it for season one, but they did it for season two, just at the beginning of all the episodes. They had the actors come out and say, like, oh, we're, this is a serious subject. We're starting a conversation. And you can just, like, hear the producers off screen stroking themselves off about how forward-thinking they're being by including that. Fuck you. I really mean that. You're, you're not saying anything. What does this show say? That depression exists? That anxiety exists? That people kill themselves and that's generally not good? Because, that again, that clashes with shit I already mentioned. But the point... <clears throat> the, the point is, this show isn't saying anything. It's just melodramatic teen angst, okay? And by putting that around someone who killed themselves, you're just... You're just being exploitative at that point. And I'm not against exploitation on its own, but again, I, I hate saying this so many times, but you're not saying anything, okay? You're missing the point of the book, which was, you know, just don't be a dick, and you're just adding in all this other shit that doesn't need to be there. And that, that's another thing. Like, the first season was the only season that was following what the what was based on the book. It the story was not meant to go beyond that. So by adding more stuff and by just throwing more trauma, more nonsense into the blender and turning it on and just you're just making the show make even less sense. And now you're throwing in shit like school shootings only happen because people are bullied, which is not true, or you shouldn't report your sexual assault if it happens because no one's going to care. Which, again, is not good. And just... Netflix showed Hannah's suicide in the first season. Okay? In the book, they only briefly mention that she downed a bunch of pills to kill herself. Because you don't really need to know how she did it to know that she's gone. It, it's not important. You know she did it herself, and that's sad. That, that's... That gets the point across. In the show, they actually sh show her cutting her wrists in the tub. And it's a very overlong, very brutal scene. And they were specifically told not to do that. Okay, they had psychologists on set telling them not to show that because just like school shootings and other shit... This has a contagious effect. Suicide has a contagious effect. When famous people kill themselves, it rises in the general population. Or when someone in a community kills themselves, other people in that community do it more often. So they were specifically told by the psychologist they brought on how to handle this and how to do it without causing problems. Without oh, causing problems. It's such a fucking pedestrian way of putting it. Without causing more people to kill themselves. And Netflix just ignored everything. They showed Hannah's suicide. They discussed the method. What the fuck is wrong with you people? I really mean that. I have something right here. Let me just bring this up right quick. In the month after this show was released for the first time, because it came out March 31st, 2017, and in April of 2017, suicides went up by 28.9 fucking percent. Okay? But that's 195 extra suicides. Okay? 195 more than what they were predicting. And, and then, you know, it dropped off after that, but that's not counting other people who might have been influenced by this. Okay? Like, people who saw it, like, six months later might be included in there, too, but it's impossible to say, because, like I said... You, it's not one reason why. You're, you're never really going to know. It's a lot of little things. But Netflix knew this might happen. And they still went... They, they still did that. That's, eh, that's 195 fucking dead people. At least partially because of some executives and producers at Netflix that just wanted to stir up controversy. That's all they really wanted to do at the end of the day. They're, they're trying to draw attention to their show so more people will watch it. Which, but just... 
if someone from a foreign country killed 195 American citizens, we would be bombing the shit out of them by now. Well, if they were brown, we'd be bombing the shit out of them by now. But that's another discussion. The point is, we... That's a lot, okay? A lot of dead people that Netflix is partially responsible for. And just... They, they knew. Okay, and even... Even if we just say, like, okay, this is in artistic integrity, okay? They, they wanted to do this and they should be allowed to. Okay, that's fine. Like, I'm not going to say you shouldn't be allowed to. I'm just saying that a couple of weeks ago, Netflix altered it so they cut that scene out of the first season. So now when you watch it, it doesn't show that. But you were told beforehand. Okay, you knew. You're just trying to draw more attention to yourselves now. Like, they, they knew. And they just went through with it anyways. And... Look, I don't know what else I can even put here. Like, I, I'm not even talking about shit like the acting or the dialogue of the show or anything like that because I, I think honestly that's all pretty bad too but that's that's not what gets me that's never been what's gotten me about this it's it's just been this fairly good not even that great I don't think but this fairly good book that had a solid message that really spoke to a lot of people there's a reason it became so popular was because it spoke to a lot of people and this just completely throws that out. It, I, I was going to say it misses the point, but it doesn't. They got the point, and the point wouldn't make them money, so they threw it out. So, just... The Netflix executives who pushed forward all this shit, knowing that more people were going to commit suicide afterwards, just fuck you. All right, like, there, there's really not many creative ways I can think to say that, but fuck you guys. We, we tend to imagine monsters as being, like, creepy, balding serial killers or murderous dictators wearing military uniforms, but a lot of times they just wear suits and work in an office. And it's not that they sh kill people themselves, it's that they contribute to the deaths of others, and they, don't, they just don't give a shit. So, uh, I guess I'll just end this by saying, um, please don't kill yourself, because the people you leave behind are, <clears throat> they're, they're gonna be wondering why you did it, and they're going to miss you, so... I despise 13 Reasons Why, the Netflix show. I, I... I just hate everything about it, and I hate the people that created it, and... Well, no, that's all. <laughs>